Hey guys, Richie here from the Just Saying Podcast. It's round three of the Justice Series. We're going to have a look now at the standings. Who could possibly take the win here? Players are just finding their opponents now and getting ready for the event for the round. We're going to be playing Star Strike and we're going to play it in the Realm of Fire. So there's some huge spells that are going to have a big impact on the game, I'm sure. So, first, first of all, let's go through the rankings. Five players are in the chance of a victory here. So we've got Kevin Gillette, he's playing Maga Killer Nurgle on two major wins. We've got James Tinsdale, two major wins, adding a Thiepkin. Jack Westaway, two major wins on Zeech. Andy Lampkin, again, two major wins, playing Moonclan Grot. And JP Stevens, two major wins, another Deepkin player. Now there's a, another little thing here in this, as we mentioned in some of the early videos, this is an event where people can bring unpainted models, just undercoated, chance to get their new armies on board and get some testing. So, Andy and JP, they've both not got max tournament points because they're going to be docked them on Peyton. So really, we're looking at probably Kevin, James and Jack in the race here to win. Okay, so Kevin on the Maggot King and Eagle, he's playing against JP Stevens, Iron Neth Deepkin. James also on on Iron Neth Deepkin. He's taking on Andy Lampkin's Moonclan Grots. And then Jack Westaway, he's playing down. He's playing against Ian Ralph's Stormcast Eternals. So, you know, tie, main tiebreaker here is going to be strength of schedule, and that's really what's going to lock it up. Well, there is some fringe things that could go on depending if. The player who plays down wins off, or if the unpainted armies, you know, win and the other ones lose. So there's quite a lot still in here. We really won't know how it's going to settle out until those final results are in. I think uh, look at some of those matchups there. I think I probably still fancy James against the Squigs. I think he, he can pull it off his experience with the Deep Ken. He's playing the strongest army. Finished 13 last year. I, I think he can do it. So we'll, I think we'll see him in the mix. Uh, I also think Jack's army's been performing really well as well. I, I like how that's going with the Zangor club. And we're seeing Zangor perform all the time right now. So like may maybe he will keep his victory. Well, I think the most interesting one that we're looking at there is Kevin versus JP, the Deep Kim versus the Magic Kid and Nagel. That one I really don't know how it goes. Kevin just rocks up to the table after a year out, like doesn't know what Open does, still keeps winning with an army that I think I would and most players would call you know, maybe so par. So you can see all the lists though, you can see the standings right now, all these players' lists. If you go on to tabletop.to, you look for just this series February, that's got all the standings. It's got all the lists and you can have a look and you know, see who you think will take this one down. But thanks for listening guys and tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one.